The following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, I'm Steve for Botest.com. Today I'm going to conduct a features inspection and performance evaluation on an all new boat from Regal Boats, the 38XO. Now, the design team at Regal tell me that they made this not only to be a capable cruiser, but an outstanding entertainment platform. She has many social zones on her single level main deck, but she also features Regal's power of choice. You can get it in stern drive or in this XO version with outboards. Let's take a look. We'll start at the stern to view these triple Yamaha 300s and notice how the center engine has an extension to get the prop below the 38XO's 18 degree dead rise. Regal managed to minimize platform loss to the outboards. We not only have two 42 inch by 21 inch swim steps to the sides, but a 14 inch deep service platform just ahead of the engines. A concealed reboarding ladder is under a hatch to port. Eight inch pull up cleats provide functionality while preventing a trip hazard. 10 inch cleats are mounted higher up on the bulwarks. At the transom, there are two storage compartments. The starboard accessed from a hatch held open with a gas strut and it's finished on the back. Inside, there's the 12 volt master breaker and a switch for the shore power cord reel that retrieves from just alongside. A TV and city water inlet are just below. An additional storage space is towards the center of the transom with an interior measuring 4 feet 10 inches by 29 inches by 2 feet 3 inches high. Same features to this hatch as well. An electric lift hatch brings up the entire cockpit seating to expose storage and mechanical components underneath, including the Seakeeper 3 gyro stabilizer, fuel tank, batteries, the generator, the black water tank, and air conditioning system. Additional storage is compartmentalized just ahead of this open space. While steps to the starboard side lead to the side deck or a fixed pier, port side stairs allow for cockpit access. Inside, L-shaped seating creates a comfortable social atmosphere. An expandable solid teak pedestal table increases functionality. It includes dedicated storage right under the seating. We're seeing an elevated level of fit and finish with patterned upholstery over varying thicknesses of water-resistant foam. Just ahead of the refreshment center is a stainless grab rail ahead of an electric grill with dedicated storage for the cover and a trash receptacle over a refrigerated drawer. All under the protection of the extended hardtop, 6 feet 9 inches off the deck. That includes padded vinyl inserts housing LED lighting, speakers, and a drop-down 30-inch flat-screen TV. Access to the bow, or again, a fixed pier, is made easier by a removable section of the cockpit sofa to starboard or steps to port, and made safer by the overhead grab handle all leading to or from the 13-inch wide side decks that we saw from the platform. A rail along the cabin top adds to the safety of the 24-inch high side rails. At the trunk cabin, there's a sun pad and Regal did a nice job on making it not only convertible to two-level chaises on both sides, but adding a three-level flip-up bench seat fully forward and even including a pull-up cabana-style bimini. A Fusion stereo control and beverage holder is alongside. Fully forward, the ground tackle is concealed beneath hatches recessed into the foredeck. A cleat is provided to secure the road. The road locker access is to port and starboard and includes a washdown. Foot controls are ahead and aft mounted speakers flank the remote spotlight. We move to the interior through a sliding glass door that opens a full 32 inches. Headroom inside is 6 feet 3 inches and there's 29 inches of space between the cabinet and sofa across the single level deck. The galley features overhead storage with a microwave. Open counter space with removable Corian covers are over an electric cooktop and a single basin sink. Storage for the covers is just below. There are two refrigerated drawers and a pull-out trash receptacle to the side. To extend the versatility of the galley, the aft glass panel retracts into the lower cabinetry to combine the inside with the outside and further keep the host in the center of activity. A two-across couch is to starboard. It has soft-touch vinyl upholstery. More Corian is to the side supporting the beverage holders. Behind, air conditioning vents are integrated into more Corian just below the expansive side window adding huge amounts of natural light into the area. Storage is both behind and below. Just above is a 32 inch drop down TV viewable from the port side seating. Let's take a look. Here we have an L-shaped settee with storage underneath and a removable pedestal table fabricated from wood and vinyl with stainless inlay, all on an elevated platform 7 inches above the deck. 
Behind, windows continue, and now we have an opening slider for cross-ventilation with the opening sunroof and a helm side window. That helm includes a soft touch brow over a pair of 12 inch Garmin displays making up the glass dash concept. Just below is a stainless beverage holder, an array of electrical switches, a small cubby with connectivity, and to the far right is the bow thruster joystick. Further below is the fully featured Fusion Stereo. The steering wheel is mounted to a tilt base and the VHF and engine start stops are just alongside. At the starboard panel are the engine controls, the Seakeeper Gyro Stabilizer Control Panel, the Optimus Joystick for effortless docking that we'll get into after our test, trim tab controls, and the remote controller for the forward displays. Visibility is through a 50 inch by 99 inch single piece windshield with a 9 inch brow just above. The opening window to the side is a welcome feature but I'd like to see a midship cleat within reach. Standing behind the helm I felt shorter than I actually am but that was alleviated by the flip down 7 inch high platform. The 32 inch wide helm seat has a single flip up bolster and adjusts fore and aft electrically. Under the seat is a storage compartment and a pull out drawer. We head below through the center mounted companionway. Down below are two staterooms and a split head all climate controlled from an 18,000 BTU air conditioning system. The main electrical panel is to the starboard. Tank control is on top then 12 volt switches and 12240 on the bottom. At the bottom of the stairs is storage. Straight ahead and through a triple set of sliding doors we come to the master. This stateroom consists of an island berth 79 inches by 60 inches with steps to both sides and nestled between lengthy hull side windows. There's accent lighting above them as well as around the padded headboard. Headroom is 6 feet 2 inches with 36 inches above the berth decreasing of course as we move forward. Full width storage drawers are below the berth and lifting the berth reveals more storage behind the drawers. The aft bulkhead houses a 32 inch flat screen TV. A cedar hanging locker is to the port side. Just outside the sliding doors is a split head with a water closet to starboard with the electric flush porcelain toilet, sink, plenty of storage and a hull side window. And to port is the shower featuring wood accents housing the contemporary plumbing fixtures and plenty of space for products. Fully aft is the VIP stateroom and it rivals designation as the master were it not for the headroom that begins at 5 feet 4 inches at the entrance, dropping to 4 feet 7 inches over the couch and lowering again to 4 feet 3 inches until we get over the berth where it's 2 feet 4 inches. The berth is mounted on the center line and slides apart to form two single berths 40 inches wide. Hull side windows provide for views and natural light. Storage is alongside the berth in drawers and a hanging locker. Forward there's a 32 inch TV with an AC vent just above and component storage below. Another hanging locker is alongside. Now let's get around the water and take a look at the numbers. The Regal 38XO has a length overall of 38 feet 10 inches, a beam of 11 feet 11 inches and a draft of 38 inches. With an empty weight of 18,000 pounds, 65% fuel and 3 people on board, we had an estimated test weight of 19,970 pounds. With the triple Yamaha F300s turning 17 pitch, 15 and a half inch saltwater series 2 props and run up to 5800 RPM, our speed topped out at 49.2 miles per hour. Best economic cruise came in at 4000 RPM and 31.2 miles per hour. It was at that speed that the 36.7 gallon per hour fuel burn translated into 0.9 miles per gallon and a range of 268 miles. All while still holding back a 10% reserve of the boat's 350 gallon total fuel capacity. She's a nice handling boat with surprising agility and quick response to the helm. She has good pickup with these engines. We reach planing speed in 4.7 seconds with a 10.5 degree bow rise and accelerated to 20 miles per hour in 6.5 seconds. 30 came and went in 10.7. She's slightly bow high at crew, so a little tab brings the bow down. At full speed, she's at a more level attitude. Otherwise, I only use the tabs to level an uneven distribution of weight. When entering turns, she'll roll 19 degrees into the turn and lose roughly 4 to 5 miles per hour as her shoulder carves into the turn. Keep those turns to port shallow as you'll lose visibility unless the sunroof is open. Her sharp entry had her cutting through the light wakes we crossed with minimal hull slap at full speed. Pull back to cruise, she cut through effortlessly but otherwise 
our calm day prevented us from exploring her rough water handling any further. For docking, we put the Hellmaster joystick through its paces to see how well the 38XL responded, and as it turned out, the system was well dialed in. The three engines basically work as two because the starboard and center are locked together with a tie bar. Small movements of the stick had us sliding right in two and gently up against the dock. Well, great handling characteristics, joystick docking, an outstanding entertainment platform, it's all coming together in the 38XO from Regal Boats. And that's my full features inspection and performance evaluation. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.